And thank God they have Friendsgiving. I mean, that was important, right? What is up, physical media enthusiast? I'm Ken, and it's time for another Epic Tuesday Blu-ray hunt. And yeah, guys, we got some stuff that came out this week with the Game of Thrones uh, on 4K. We got V for Vendetta on 4K. Um, we've got Antebellum that's coming out with a Blu-ray and a 4K. I am starting today at Walmart. I'm kind of doing things in reverse today. I've got Walmart, I've got Target, and then I'm going to do Best Buy. There might be a, a surprise location in the middle. I don't know. We'll see if we got some time. But uh, we are at our first location, Walmart, right now. So let's go in and see what they got. Into the local Walmart. Here we go. The good Walmart. Will they have anything? Alright guys, they got Antebellum on 4K. $24.96. Blu-ray for $19.96. Do have the crown. $27.96. Friendsgiving. Uh, they got some new DVD holiday sets. Elf, Christmas Vacation, Christmas Story, Charlie Brown's Christmas. I got that Bruce Willis film, the Blu-ray and the DVD, Hard Kill. Uh, Deep Blue Sea, three film collection. Let's see. I got a DVD copy of Let's Scare Julie. Not the Blu-ray though. Do we still have this Omen box set here? Um, I might pull the trigger on this Saw collection. I don't own the Saw films on Blu-ray. I believe these are some new ones. Amulet, uh, Blood Immortal, um, House of Shadows. I think all of those are new horror uh, DVDs this week. Uh, maybe the SpongeBob musical as well. I don't know guys, let's go ahead and get out of here. All right guys, so just got out of the Walmart. I didn't end up picking up that Saw collection because the line was really long. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there in there today, but there were so many people just like crowding the uh, Blu-ray section and everything. And yeah, there's just tons of people out. It took me forever to even get in there to um, even, even shoot uh, the, the new releases and stuff. But um, it was, yeah, we got to see some new stuff in stores. So let's go ahead and go on to Target and see if they got anything. Into the Target we go. Will Target have anything this week? We'll see. Alright guys, so I just got out of the Target and they didn't really have anything new in there. They did uh, put out all of their um, Christmas stuff. They had some Christmas slip covers, but they're all the same ones that I saw in there last year around this time. The Polar Express, Christmas Vacation, Christmas Story. They had some new like DVDs down at the bottom too. They had like the entire new release spot where they usually put all their new releases uh, was all Christmas stuff. So 
nothing new. I didn't see any of the new releases that came out today. Antebellum wasn't in there. I thought they might have uh, had the Blu-ray copy of that at least. But, uh, you know, we have yet to see the V for Vendetta 4K yet uh, as well or the Game of Thrones 4K um, uh, releases either. So uh, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, those are at Best Buy. But uh, before we move on, guys, I'm going to show you all what I picked up in there because as you saw, you saw me doing a little toy hunting. <laughs> Because I couldn't find any Blu-rays or anything to, to buy. So I thought I would get something for my daughter. You know, every now and then I got to spend some of my some of my Blu-ray money on, on toys for my kids, you know. And this is movie related. I got I got a Trolls uh, toy pack for my daughter to surprise her with when I get home. So she'll be excited about that. So that is cool. But also, before we move on again, before we're getting ready to go on our Best Buy trip, I think it's important to acknowledge that, you know, Blu-ray hunting isn't the most important thing going on in the world today. And, you know, I, I did something this morning. I... I I voted. I voted. Isn't that cool? I voted. I got a little sticker. So I'm a cool person now that voted uh, for the election today. And, uh, you know, regardless of, of who you're voting for, I don't really give a shit. Uh, to be honest, you can vote for um, whoever. It doesn't matter to me. But it is important to get out there and vote and voice your opinion, now, regardless of, of if you care, if you follow this stuff from day to day. But uh, um, as for who I voted for, um, of course I voted for the only person you, you should be voting for, and that's Kanye West. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, I, I did see his name on the ballot, and I thought it was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, guys, again, I'm not going to reveal who I'm voting for. I don't want to stir, because I don't want to stir up a bunch of, uh, of crap in the comments, but I just wanted to point out that I did vote today. I am a citizen of the United States, and I don't just Blu-ray hunt. I also do important adult things as well. So, um, so let's go ahead and move on and get to Best Buy. All right, guys, so I'm making a impromptu Dollar Tree stop. Uh, this is a Dollar Tree that I don't go to often, but when I do, they actually have some of those Blu-rays in stock, and I heard um, or I've seen some people posting about them and stuff on Instagram that Dollar Tree has brought back a new haul of Blu-rays, so I'm going to check out this Dollar Tree and uh, see if they got anything for me. Here we go to the Dollar Tree. everybody so i just got out of the dollar tree and that was a bit of a bust but you know you don't know unless you try so um unless i wanted to grab that classic comedy from the mid 2000s balls out um there really wasn't anything <laughs> that that dollar tree had to offer but we are on our way to best buy right now for real to see if they got that v for vendetta 4k the steelbook the game of thrones steelbooks all that good stuff so uh see you when we get over there we're going into Best Buy, we're going into Best Buy. Will they have any steel books or will they have nothing? Let's do it. They've moved a lot of their stuff around, but this is where they have their 4Ks right now. Uh, let's see. You have that jaw set still. Frozen, Star Wars. All right, let's go check out the new release. They replaced a lot of this section with washers and dryers for Black Friday. Still have a 4K section. Yep, this is disappointing. They do have a Blu-ray collection of Game of Thrones, but I'm not seeing the 4K. More Christmas releases. And thank God they have Friendsgiving. I mean, that was important, right? They still got these Back to the Future collections. None of the new releases. There's the spot for the Game of Thrones. Uh, I'm probably going to ask somebody. All right, guys. So I'm out of the Best Buy, and that was disappointing, as I kind of expected it to be because they, they really downgraded uh, their uh, Blu-ray and 4K section last week. So... I didn't expect to find a whole lot in there. I was hoping they would at least have the V for Vendetta 4K and Steelbook, but of course not. 
and they gave me the same bullshit answer they did a couple of weeks ago. You have to order it online or whatever. It's only available online, but then I'll go in the store next week and it'll be there. So is that just for like first week only? Can I not catch a glimpse of these things in store like week one? Do I have to wait for week two, week three? Because now I'm finding the 300 4Ks in there. Uh, but I mean, either way, it's disappointing. Best Buy is just, it's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anymore, guys. But I mean, they had the Back to the Future stuff a couple of weeks ago. So it's like sometimes they have it and sometimes they don't. I don't get it. I don't get their logic. But anyway, I did grab one thing in there because they had nothing else. Um, and I did kind of want this because it's a cool steel book. I grabbed this Motel Hell um, uh, Screen Factory steel book. I really like this steel book a lot. And I kind of want to get into collecting more uh, Screen Factory steel books, more Screen Factories in general, stuff like that. Uh, maybe I'll be able to review this for my slasher review series. Uh, 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 who knows? So, but I haven't seen this movie before, though that'll be a first time watch. So, cool still book, though. I really enjoy that one. So, uh, with that, guys, that's going to conclude my weekly Blu ray trip. Sorry, it was a little bit disappointing this week. I don't feel like I got. Um, uh, as much footage as I would have liked to but I definitely definitely appreciate you guys joining me along today and of course we'll be back this Sunday for my thrifting blog uh, episode three uh, we'll be back again on Monday for the physical media report check out my slasher review of Friday the 13th the final chapter which is going to drop this Friday I've got a couple other uh, smaller videos planned for tomorrow and Thursday as well that I would like for you guys to check out um, also guys follow me on Instagram at mid-level movie reviews I started up my month of Kubrick community event so check out my page and, and see what that's all about also guys join me tonight on Instagram for my movie Q&A anything movie related uh, anything blu-ray 4k related if you want me to pull something off the shelf and show it show it off I'll do that so come join that Q&A event you can ask me anything any question that you want to that you have for mid-level join me on Instagram tonight for my Q&A um, at 9 30 Eastern Standard Time so Definitely appreciate you guys joining me here today, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.